joining us to talk about the conditions and safety preparations just northwest of Indianapolis in Boone County is Deputy Wesley Garst with the county's sheriff's office. And good morning, Deputy Garst. Thank you so much for joining us on a probably busy morning for you. Good morning. Thanks for having us on this morning. And you know, this is a starkly different winter storm than what we experienced when we spoke with you back in December, but we still want to make sure that people are aware and prepared. So first, let's talk about the conditions around your area. Perfect. So this morning, I think the biggest thing that we're uh, taking on is a uh, poor visibility. Uh, we already have taken a call where some people had to just pull over and um, just stop just because they couldn't see. So it's definitely a good idea to make sure that your windows are clear and you have a uh, window windshield wiper fluid in there so you can clear your windows off and uh, just slowing down just to make sure that uh, you're not going past your ability to drive in these types of conditions. And outside of the visibility issues, are there any other major concerns for you and your department at this time? Not yet. Um, I, I think the state highway and the local highway departments have done a great job keeping up uh, on the roads this morning. Uh, we've uh, had reports from other officers saying that they've seen trucks out there already and doing a good job getting salted and uh, clearing the roadways. So um, the biggest thing I can think of right now with the wind uh, is just uh, some black ice, uh, slick overpasses. Those overpasses tend to ice up a little quicker than the main roadway to do. But just be mindful as you're driving on the roads. Uh, for ice and slick spots. And I was going to say, you know, speaking of driving on the road, for those commuters that do have to get out and about this morning, outside of those visibility issues, you have any other words for drivers? Well, uh, it's always very important to leave a little earlier than what you expect to, um, or th that than what you normally would. Um, because, you know, you never know what kind of things you're going to run into, delays or debris in the roads and so on and so forth. Uh, another good thing is make sure you're cleaning your cars off and inspecting your cars prior to your departure, making sure they're in working order so you don't get out there and get stranded. If you happen to, do, to get stranded and you call 911, just know that we're on our way. Um, you know, as the weather conditions get worse, we can uh, <clears throat> start seeing delay in our response times, but that doesn't mean we're not coming. It just means that we're just answering those calls as they come. So just try to be patient. So be prepared uh, as you go out and make sure that you have the necessities within your car while you wait to keep warm and nourished. Those are great pieces of advice and tips. Thank you so much, Deputy Gars, for joining us this morning. Please stay safe and warm as you navigate the rest of your day.